This is Openly Hostile Opinions, with your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want you to do, anytime I want you. All right, hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Jay, this is Casey. Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Pretty good, how are you? Oh, I'm fucking great. I got back from the DMV today, I got my license fucking renewed. I have to go there for another six years, so I'm fucking happy about that. It's it's four years. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we drinking today? Uh, today, we are drinking a very local beer. It is from State College, Pennsylvania. You know, home of Penn Rape. I mean, Penn State, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is called Red uh, Otto's Red Mo American Red Ale. It is like my favorite red ale beer. It is fucking delicious. We have a picture of it here. I can show it to you. Show it to you. Uh, we're having laptop problems now, so I just got to show you the label. That's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's a friend. We, we sort of know him, and he uh, makes really good fucking beer. This is like a really good summer beer. If you're looking for something to sit by the campfire. <laughs> and this is our. Yes, I love this fucking beer. It is delicious. So cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> uh, delicious. Ah, so refreshing. It's... Yeah, it's it's not a very strong taste. It's it's like not hoppy, really. It's. Like, it's got more of a malt flavor, very glassy smooth. It's mm-hmm. definitely something you'd sit in. It's a session beer. Yeah, it is a session beer. It's it's fucking delicious. And like I said, if you ever want to fry some wieners and hot dogs on the grill while you're drinking this stuff, it's fucking delicious. And I think I'm going to rate it my first fiver. It's going to be, uh, you know, five out of five uh, Rapist Santas. <laughs> five out of five Rapist Santas. I'll, I'll go with that. Yes. And then, like I said, if, if any of anybody's, like, around the area, State College, you can stop by. They have food. They have uh f- you know, Pittsburgh style stuff, lettuce or lettuce salads with fries on them and shit like that. Because everybody needs fucking French fries on a salad. <laughs> no, I want to eat healthy, but not really. <laughs> I want to eat healthy, but not too. Healthy. <laughs> yeah, not too healthy. You know. Oh man, but you know. How else are we gonna keep our girlish figures? Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm fat. I'm gonna blame it on everyone else. <laughs> All yeah. right. So uh, today I thought we'd try, <laughs> try something a little. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> this is. Oh, man, I've been dreading this all day. But apparently, uh, there's this video floating around on the Internet. And this guy's at work. He's sitting there at his computer desk. And someone's filming him eating tacos without tilting his head. <laughs> How does one eat tacos without tilting their head? <laughs> this guy fucking does it. We we have a video uh, for people that aren't listening or watching on YouTube or whatever. We'll, we'll try to put some links in so you can watch this. But this guy, he basically just eats a taco without tilting his head or the taco. He just so just straight up like gaping maw. Yes, and fantastic. We'll, we'll go this. ahead and watch this video real quick. It is fucking hilarious. Right. How in the goddamn does he? I don't know, dude. It looks like it hurts. Is this real? I don't know, and that's the thing. It's going around saying it's fake because there's no way that you can eat a taco like that. <laughs> and he's just doing it like it's nothing, dude. He's like eating that taco soul. Did he even taste it? I, I don't know. And and the thing is, is we look close, he's sort of smirking a little bit. Like it is like he knows he's being filmed. And the camera is held really, really fucking still. Like it's not just some random person. Like they set it up and like I don't know. <laughs> that's and that's that's basically it. It's just him over and over again eating the taco. So So, since I seen this. I figured we are fucking trying this. <laughs> so. I don't think it's going to work, but I get to have an excuse to eat tacos. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like a magical cooking show. We prepared this ahead. I know. Bling, bling, Unfortunately, bling. our tacos are a little soggy, so I don't know if this is going to work or not. Yeah, I got them for fucking the old Keto Taco Bell, however the fuck you oh, say thank that. you. However that fucking chihuahua says it. Yo Keto Taco Bell. Because I want to... Oh, man. I want to try this. I want to see if you can fucking eat a taco without tilting your... You can't tilt the taco either. <laughs> Let's try Cheers. this. Cheers. Cheers. Oh! 
don't know. How the fuck? I don't know. Ours, is, ours aren't even that crunchy anymore. I still. How, how, how did you get, only get the bottom? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying it again with the others. <laughs> I can't open my mouth that wide. <laughs> oh! I fucking cut my mouth. That's pain in the ass. <laughs> I got a piece of taco shell stuck in my mouth. Yeah, that's painful. Why would you eat tacos like that? I don't understand. Oh, man. That's, Ow. That's not even fun. It's yeah, and ours aren't even that crunchy oh, anymore. It's possible. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, did you do some movies you're not proud of? <laughs> you got shells on it. <laughs> Made me laugh, asshole. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't see why you would eat a taco like that. It is a fucking pain in the ass. I mean, his was crunching. Yeah. So his are fresh. I, I can't even imagine, because that fucking hurts, and they're sort of like, they're crunchy, but like... Just the top of them are <laughs> like... <laughs> his sounded really crunchy. Like, holy shit. I taste blood. <laughs> Did it cut the roof of your mouth? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a little blood going on there. Oh, great. <laughs> Look at I'm finishing the taco, I earned it. <laughs> Yeah, but actually there was a comment on here. I forget what it said, but it said something like, oh yeah, fake. I know for certain that is a stunt taco. I've seen it in other videos. <laughs> <laughs> stunt taco. Oh, man. Maybe yeah. they're soggy like ours and they added sound effects later. I know, that's true. Yeah, because even the video says, um, uh, real or fake, this man eats a taco without tilting his head. <laughs> and I just, the things to, the things to put on the internet, I guess. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. That's weird. you're still munching on him. Yeah, piece of cheese in there. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, um, never I don't beard without a mirror. <laughs> I don't recommend eating tacos like that. That is fucking uncomfortable. I, I mean, sure, it's possible, but it's certainly not practical. Yeah, I, that's a pain in the ass. I don't see why would you would want to do that. That's horrible. <laughs> oh man! Yep, definitely bleeding. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, man. We're never doing something like that again. I've um, heard that before. Yeah. Next time we'll have the freaking Goya. Or... <laughs> oh, oh, I got no. a good one set up for us next time we play Would You Rather. Oh, God. I don't even want to fucking... Nope. <sighs> I had a stomach ache for like two days after we drank that shit. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> oh, man. Look what we do for you people. I drew blood. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, man. Yeah, so after that, what do you got for us, Jay? <laughs> Um, Besides, like, pure sadness and blood. <laughs> man, I don't know if I want to talk after that. It tastes like iron and shit in my mouth. All right, so um, you'll never guess. Uh, they're making a live-action Barbie movie. You'll never guess who they picked to play well, Barbie. Well, uh, first question, why are they making a live-action Barbie movie? Uh, cocaine. <laughs> Does anyone even play with Barbie anymore? I thought it was all my fucking... daughters do. Yeah, I know, but I thought you just got an iPhone at 7 these days. You don't get Barbie anymore. Ugh. <laughs> they they have they have Barbie games on the iPhone. That's, oh, do they? That's oh, what it man. is. Oh, no, but who's who's playing her? Amy Schumer. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's like when I think Barbie, I, my mind does not immediately go to Amy Schumer. I I, I know why they picked her though. I really because like she's fat. Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee the fucking executives were like, oh, we can't pick a too too much of a skinny fucking girl. I think they're going with like. The Hunger Games thing here right now because when Jennifer Lawrence first that bitch did, has never been hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like that bitch got some thighs on her. <laughs> <That's a huge laughs> not really. She's a little chubby, but no, she's not. I know, and that's the thing. But she's mean, certainly not Barbie. Yeah, yeah I, I know, and that's the thing. The executives are like, I guarantee they're sitting around the fucking table jerking each other off while they're doing coke out of strippers' butthole, saying, "Who can we pick that's not too skinny and not fat?" Yeah, we don't want to piss off the feminists. Yeah, and it's like. I just a bunch oh my of purple God. haired trolls. Yeah, this is why we can't fucking make movies anymore. <laughs> you can't pass somebody who's skinny in that role. It puts unfair body images. <laughs> oh my God, it fucking drives. And this is why no one no, movies suck. You focus way too much on image. <laughs> like that's all you focus. Oh man, oh man, why, why people? And then these little girls are gonna look up Amy Schumer and see her stand up. Like, <laughs> fucking. 
girls are growing up into whores faster and faster, and this is just going to add to it. Oh, uh, yeah, Amy Schumer's filthy. Oh, my gosh. I love her comedy. I think she's oh, hilarious. Yeah. But, dude, she she talks like a man. Like, she's oh, just yeah. like, oh, you know, fucking, no, oh, jeez. Too much. Well, you know, it's just those uh, studio execs are afraid of uh, all the feminists coming bounding down the street. <laughs> I know. <laughs> With their fucking armpit hair. Oh, man. And, and that's the funny thing. I have a question for feminists. If you hate men so much, why is, why is your powerful image to look like men? I... <laughs> Like, you just triggered somebody. <laughs> but it, it's a good fucking question. If you if if you hate men so much and you want to be empowered as a woman, <laughs> why do you dress and act like a man to be empowered? <laughs> like it makes no fucking sense. I mean, whatsoever. I'm all about equal rights, but those people uh, those people completely defy their own cause. I know, like these fem- <laughs> feminist Nazis. They look like men to be empowering women. It makes no... Like, they cut their hair short like a man. <laughs> a lot of them don't shave their armpits anymore, so they do everything a man does to be empowered. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> That's just... Oh, man. <laughs> I just... I'm done. I'm done, son. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't... I don't understand it. Amy Schumer is not... A, she's not a bad-looking woman, but she is a little chubby. Oh, I'd fuck the hell out of her. Oh, yeah, me too. I'd bounce on her like a like a blind kid on a pogo stick. But... <laughs> I just I, I just know that's what the execs were thinking. That's exactly what they were thinking. They're like, who can we pick that's a little chubby? You know why? Why? Money! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, oh, my God. And, 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 like, and, oh, man, I remember when Star Wars came out and everyone's like, oh, thank you, thank you. Now women will have someone to look up to. If you... If you have no one to look up to besides a fictional character, you're fucking pathetic. Besides, I'm pretty sure Princess Leia was a bit of a badass. Yeah, fuck yeah, she was. She's the one that coordinated the whole attack at the, ass, at the fucking end, Return of the Jedi. She was like all dressed up in like a commander suit or something. She was like, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Or, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, fucking Luke, uh, Luke forced the, the laser into the into the hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good on you, Luke. Yeah, good good job, Luke. Shooting wombats in your backyard. <laughs> wombats. Or whatever the fuck they were. Womp rats. The womp rats. I'm not even I'm not even the one who likes Star Wars. Why do I know this? I even I don't fucking know. Oh my god. I think I got taco grease in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> you got the taco poison, man. Oh man. Ugh. Yeah, but like I said, this is why we can't have nice movies anymore. We focus way too much on this bullshit. And it's not even a pocket, like a big majority. Majority, Like, we talk about this all the time. It's these couple little people that get, you know, all fired up and shit. A very vocal minority. Yeah, and it's like, it pisses me off. I don't even know fucking watch it. <laughs> it's just. You were, you were considering it beforehand? You, <laughs> no, you're going to sit in the theater with your big bucket of popcorn in the back like a creepy old codger. Like, yeah. yeah, let's watch that Barbie movie. Yeah. They'd be like, I'll be like, a big thing of popcorn, please. No salt. Why do you want no salt? It's not important. <laughs> 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 Don't want to burn in that dick. <laughs> <sighs> yes. <laughs> well, you do live in Glenmar, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. Fucking the town I live in is so ridiculous. <laughs> but. Moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This this is fucking great. Okay. South African pastor sprays insecticide on people to heal them. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do they know? Oh, they know. Here's a picture. Look at this fucking shit. <laughs> I love her face. He's just blasting her straight in the face with a can of Raid. Oh, man. It is called Doom. Uh, Doom and sex spray. Is that, that's the brand name? <laughs> yeah. So you think that it's a good idea to spray people in the face with doom? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> oh man, the pastor's name is Lithibo Rabalago. No, oh, you butchered that. I'm yeah, sure. I guess it's the Black Rambo. I don't know. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is at Mount Zion General Assembly, and is like I said, doom insect spray. <laughs> And one of the, Why? I don't know. Because it heals them. And I have a quote from one of the believers. And it says, I came here with a pain on my back and stomach. Now, after the prophet sprayed me with doom, I am healed. 
no, you're high because you just ingested a bunch of, uh, inhaled a bunch of uh, poisonous chemicals yeah. and CFCs directly into your brain. I think that's what he's going for here. Like, I think he's like, if they get drugged up enough, they'll believe anything I'm saying. <laughs> Pass the collection plate, baby. Yeah, exactly. Money. And uh, CNN covered this. And uh, they called the pastor. He hung up on him. But <laughs> they did talk to Tiger Brands. I guess that's the, the brand that makes Doom and Sex Prey. Tiger Brands? Are they like a, they, they like an angry Chinese mother? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Tiger Brand. I am the tiger. <laughs> and you says, do your homework! <laughs> and, and Tiger Brand says it is not safe to spray doom in people's faces. <laughs> that was their quote. They, they really have to say that. Yeah. The name of the fucking shit is doom. <laughs> I know, and that's another thing. If you're going to be like, religious, I would pick a different spray than doom. doom. <laughs> like, get I'm some gonna, skin so yeah. soft. Or I'm going to spray you with the doom. Oh, man. Yeah, and that, that's just fucking hilarious. My people, they come to me. They come to get healed. Out, devil. Out, devil, I spray you with a raid. Oh, man, it is just fucking... That, it's just, people fall for anything, man. And this is what gives religious people a bad name. It, just that? I'm pretty sure the Crusades had something to do with that, too. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like, this... And people are stupid. Like, this is how easy it is to, you know, manipulate and brainwash people. You fucking grab a can of spray. <laughs> yeah, you spray them in the face with enough fucking poisonous chemicals. They're, they're bound to believe what you yeah, think. Yeah, because, like, look at this. Look at the picture. There's a lot of people there. Stupid look, people. Look, look at this one guy right here, though. He is like, man, that fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> his face is so priceless right there. He's like, oh. Look at this guy. He's scamming everyone. I can't oh. say a damn thing. You calling me in to try and eat a taco straight up and down. Now hey, I have man. a bleeding mouth. To me, that, that was for science right there. Science my ass. <laughs> that was for science, dude. We well, had to try that. That was, that was fucking delicious. Yeah, dude. well, now my, now my mouth is bleeding. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. We'll Nothing just, like mouth blood to go, to go with your beer. Open your mouth. We'll just spray some doom in it. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, but it'll make me not care anymore. I should do I should just start running down the street spraying doom on people. I'm like, Jesus, be heal you. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not in Africa. I'm pretty sure that'll get you arrested. Yeah, probably. Well, you know, we have a child molester that's not in jail yet, so what, probably not. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> yes. Moving right along. Oh, man. It's good. Speaking of children. Oh, great. How do you like that segue right there? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. <laughs> well, thank you. Kind of like a waxed vagina. Oh, uh, yes. Got mm. that bowling alley mm. vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. Got a, got a, got a, I like all kinds of vaginas, but I, I'd rather not the hairy variety. Yeah, I, I like a little bit of hair, but not to where a, you... a little bit's okay. I mean, but you gotta keep that shit trimmed. If I have to bring a machete into the forest, <laughs> yeah, if I, I if I have to light it on fire just to find my way, or or what's worse is when they get that shit that's creeping down the thighs. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Kind of looks like Fidel Castro. Yeah, I like beard. it just like a little like a little bit where I'm like, oh, they put some time and effort into this. You know, they like to get banged. <laughs> Not, you not you like, like it when they have a have a point, an arrow yeah, pointing. Yeah, yeah. They're like, eat this part. <laughs> Insert here. Yeah. Not not to where it's like it feels like you're licking a yarn ball. <laughs> like, that's fucking disgusting. Like fucking cats. Tongue. Yeah, yeah. Like you're sitting there <laughs> eating, <laughs> eating this hairy pussy, and you just hear this. You look over your cats like playing. With it. You're, like, you're like Jeffrey, get out of here. <laughs> Jeffrey, that's a hell of a name for a cat. Yeah. All right, so uh, anyway, there's these toys that are coming out this year. Uh, they 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 call back home to a defense contractor. So they're like, there's a there's a boy one and a girl one, and one's like my friend Kayla, and the other one's IQ intelligent robot, and they pair with your your smartphone. My friend Kayla. Yeah, my friend Kayla. It's like an American Girl doll ripoff. With far creepier. Uh, whatever happened to my buddy and kid sister? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened to them. The, the, the child's play movies happened to them. <laughs> yeah, that's oh man, I love those movies. They're funny now, but when I was a kid, that yeah. shit scared me. Oh, I saw yeah, the My dude. Buddy doll. I'm like, this needs to leave the house. Yeah, I used to have a My Buddy doll. My fucking brothers and shit. I'd come home and they'd put it in the fireplace because remember the first one, how mm. he dies in the fireplace. They'd do that just to be a fucking asshole. But you said a defense company. That sounds like, when I hear the word defense, it sounds like they're going to come to your house with SWAT gear if well, yeah, something bad happens. It, it's nuanced. They're the people who do that uh, dragon 
speech to text. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody's listening and now yawning. My apologies. <laughs> I think what it is is I when I'm talking, I do it. It's not that I'm tired. Anyway, nuance you is the one. Need some doom. Does. Yeah, I need some doom. Wake me up. <laughs> Nuance is the company who does it. They're the ones who do the dragging dictation software is what it is. So, uh, But they're also a defense contractor for the U.S. government. Oh, my so, God. Why are we doing this, people? Uh, it's a little creepy, man. Fuck yeah, it's creepy, man. You got fucking... Did you ever see Toy Soldiers? Yeah. <laughs> well, here, listen to this. With Tommy Lee Jones? Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're talking to a guy who runs a <laughs> runs a website about movies. Defense companies aren't supposed to make toys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Like for example, the Kayla doll asks for uh, like personal information, like the child's name, their parents' names, their school name, their hometown. You know, and all this shit's getting funneled back to a server somewhere. Oh my god. Oh jeez, man. 1984. Right. I, and I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm not saying that they're doing anything malicious with it. Chances are oh, they're they not. they probably are. Fuck, they are. Dude, I don't trust nobody. I do not trust a single fucking person. That is way too much shit someone should have. Fair enough. <laughs> I just, no. Okay, fair enough. But, uh, you know, there's probably nothing going on in that respect, but people get hacked. Yeah. You know, companies every other day, yep. like, thousands of usernames and passwords and shit have been leaked online. Make sure you change your name and password. Well, it's a little worse when it's a, you know, your fucking little kid's name, hometown, school name, parents' names. I mean, that's a lot of information. A pedophile hacker. <laughs> like, exactly. You're setting up a smorgasbord for this. <laughs> a smorgasbord. That's a hell of a term to use for this. But it's true, man. <laughs> you're like, how dare you, Casey? <laughs> Sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the one with the sound effects. I don't yeah, know. have to do it. Yeah, I got to get some sound effects. <laughs> I, gotta, I do because I have so many I want for this show, but I just I don't have time, man. I'm so busy. Ugh, I hate being busy. I'm surprised I got to the DM fucking V today. That was quick though. I was. Nah, actually, you already had your camera card. Yeah, That's like I walked right in, in, pulled a number. Like the four or five before me never showed up, so I was like, oh, okay, I walked right up. You know, they're like, do you want to be an organ donor? I'm like, nope. <laughs> You know what organ donors are? People who have no faith in science. No. Like one of these days, they'll bring us all back to life, and we'll be there, and ain't nobody got any. You ain't got eyeballs. You gotta go find some kid in Tallahassee who's got your fucking eyeballs and rip yeah. them back out of his head. When my grandmother died, she said, I'm going I'm going out of this world what I came in with. Like, that's whatever. And I've heard, like, rumors about, like, if you're, you know, holding on to life and you're in a car accident, they'll be like, ooh, organ donor. Yee! <laughs> I like, just nope. <laughs> who, who fucking knows? But. Me, I don't give a shit. Like when I die, I don't care if you shove a bone up my ass and let the dogs carry me away. Really, bury me in a refrigerator box. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. More like a mini fridge. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> For those of you who do not watch on YouTube, I am vertically challenged. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm five five, which isn't that damn short. I got that's think, fucking short compared dude. to the rest of you fucking people. Hey, You're man. all giants. Back in the day, I was normal. <laughs> Fuck. Back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, people were a little bit shorter. I was, I was, I was tall. You were like Average. Civil War height. <laughs> you know, I need to go to fucking. I need to go to like uh, Japan. What? Those are a group of small fucking people. Oh yeah, they're all fucking tiny. They're tiny little people. That's, that's why they're, they're so Mexicans. good at karate. <laughs> and I think that's why they suck at driving. They can't see above the steering wheel. Jesus Christ. How many fucking stereotypes can we throw in one episode? I don't God. know. God. What, what are some white people stereotypes? We like Starbucks. What are some? Girl... Uh, we apparently like pumpkin spice. Oh, yeah. That fucking, that heroin. <laughs> uh, according to every uh, every black comedian ever, we talk like this. Evidently. <laughs> Evidently. Evidently. So we talk like Minnesotians. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesotians? Is that the term for that? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what hell? Uh, I guess Ugg Boots, is, I think, is just Ugg a boot. white woman thing. Well, that's an Australian thing. Australians are badass. Did you see that video about the guy who punched a kangaroo? Yes, I did. It's all over the place, dude. There, There's there's commentary ones. I just <laughs> saw a picture of this very muscular one like this. He's like, who has that cunt that, that attacked my wife when she was just trying to pet a dog? Like, it's <laughs> Pet a dog, nothing. That kangaroo is trying to strangle the shit out of it. Yeah, and, and people, in case you haven't heard there or seen it, there was this video of this guy. He's hunting boar, I think it is, or something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 
he finds this kangaroo strangling one of his dogs. Like, he has it. I think he just wanted a hug. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> but Come here, little fella. Yeah, you're like, oh, How no, you doing, no, mate? No, no, no. And this guy is not having it. <laughs> he, he's like, yeah, let go of my dog. <laughs> it goes up, fucking squares up with this kangaroo and just fucking socks him. Like, <laughs> Muhammad Ali. Well, he's still alive, but anyways. <laughs> Muhammad Ali is completely dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just oh, never mind. Yeah, I never yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just socks this fucking ca- and the kangaroo like just stands and goes, "Holy shit! Like, <laughs> what the fuck just happened?" And then just like leaves them alone. Well, <laughs> to be fair, he, he gave the kangaroo space. He started backing away slowly, and the kangaroo kept coming. So yeah, and kangaroo will, will fuck you up, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're claws, man. Yeah. They, they'll gut you. Yeah. They'll, they'll put you in the pouch, roll you up like a taco, and eat you without tilting your head. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear he's actually a zookeeper? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy, the guy is profession, he's a zookeeper. He, he, he uh, takes care of elephants at the zoo. That's fucking hilarious. But hey, it makes sense, man, because like I said, he, he runs right up to that thing. No fear, dude. I know. He just he's... squares right up. He's like, this fucker's going down. They got me dog. <laughs> he's like, crockies. Because <laughs> that's the only I just stereo- love that, though. Like, <laughs> an American, if we were in that same situation, we get our dog free and try to run like hell and hope it's not yeah. following us. Uh, the Australian just squares up like, come on, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and another thing is, is if we did that, we'd fucking, we'd have PETA at our doors and shit like that. PETA. People they, eating tasty animals. Yeah, exactly. Fuck oh, PETA. Fucking, fucking cocksuckers. Fucking, you, you know what, uh, you know what, uh, vegetarian's an ancient Indian word, you know what it means? Hmm. Lousy hunter. <laughs> they fucking, fucking I know you want to make a point, but when you get to the shit where you start making fun of Pokemon, and then you made up fake companies to prove a point and stuff, like, that's, that's when you Oh, yeah, because that, that, Pokemon is... Yeah. is is virtual. Yeah, that's when virtual you're, animal abuse. Yeah, that's when you're so obsessed with something you you try to make a reality so much you have to make it real and you're fucking pathetic. Get a fucking life. Yeah, reality checked out a while ago. At yeah, that like just get the fuck over it, dude. People eat animals. Get over it. Jesus Christ. Fucking oh, yeah. words. <laughs> it, it's not okay to abuse an animal. It's not okay to go up and punch a dog in the head or something for no good reason. But, dude, it's food. I know. We've been eating animals as long as we were able to catch the fucking things. I know. <laughs> but, you know, uh, and everything these days, you know, everything we've done in, like, thousands of years that is natural to us is all of a sudden wrong for some reason in the last couple of years. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of that, actually, here's a great segue into another story. <sighs> oh, God. What is it? What happened? Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do it. It, it involves Japan, because of course oh, it involves Japan. Oh, this is gonna Japan. be great then. It's, Japan's always great. I, I, I actually think this is kind of kind of whimsical and brilliant to me. See if you can pull up the picture there. Okay. There you go. Uh, it, if you scroll up a little bit there, you can show. show the, there's a video, but we can just show the still of it. What the Japanese, this is a Japanese water park and it's an ice skating rink. And what they did is they froze a bunch of dead fish into the ice skating rink to look like schools of fish. Uh, they have stingrays uh, and all yeah, sorts. Yeah, that picture right there. Where is it? Yeah, there's a stingrays. Yeah, yeah and uh, people lost their shit over it. Why in the fuck would you lose your shit over it? You eat sushi! <laughs> <laughs> like... We're, well, I don't think it was Japanese people who had the problem. It was a bunch of idiots on the internet who had no, nothing better to do with their Americans, time. Americans, you know. Right, so they were forced to close their skating rink, and uh, people were sending sending uh, things, uh, an online campaign saying it was cruel, immoral, oh my goodness, weird. Um, I'll give you that. It's a little weird, but they, 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 took, the, uh, they took the fish from a, 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 a fish market. So they're going to get eaten anyway. They, they were dead anyway. They were going to get eaten. So they froze them in there. Frankly, I think it's sort of a cool idea. Yeah, it's fucking awesome, man. Like, I would skate in that shit. <laughs> but they're going to get eaten. Oh, anyway. look at this. I didn't even realize that. The the stingrays and the whale sharks that are in there, yeah, the fish are li- were real fish. Uh-huh. But the stingrays and shit, they were just in large photos that they placed beneath the ice, and people are losing their fucking minds over it. Of course. And, and, that, and that's the thing. People, like, with the internet, we could do so much with it. And people use it to bitch about stupid yeah, bullshit. Bitch about like movies. The... Bitch about... You know, <laughs> well, I use it to bitch about movies. But, yeah. But, I mean, the one, one but guy... But that's okay. It's good to be a passionate about something. But if this fish is going to fucking die anyways... It's already dead. Yeah, like, it didn't come back to life. I tell people when I die, just stuff me and put me in a corner like... 
you know, scaring little kids. Like, put hats on me and shit. Like, <laughs> well, like fuck, I said, man. prop me up in a corner and shove a bone up my ass. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, like, the commenters are saying, like, it's dis- disrespectful of life. Uh, they said it was display- displaying an appalling lack of morality. and uh, Dude, it's fucking stupid. I think it was kind of a cool, neat idea. Yeah. You know, you get Not to, like, skate across. Cra- yeah, that's exactly it. You know, it, it, the problem is somebody's fun is... Uh, is always somebody you get a problem with. Anytime you're having fun, somebody somewhere would be mad about it. And people know. just always live in a fucking, the world is so dark thing. And, you know, oh, God, it's so dark. Yeah, so, you know, the first thing I do when I'm pissed off about something is I make everyone else suffer, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, let me go get offended and send letters and write petitions Ugh. and close down a skating rink in Japan. Uh, it's like, dude, they're Japanese. They don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> and probably they're the ones that bitch and they're like, God, there's nothing to do in this town. <laughs> well, it's like an animal that animal rights group in 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 China who have, when they were running that uh, dog brothel. I didn't even know in Asia they had any animal rights groups. I know they all fucking eat them. Like, like there's a we always talk about that we live in the wooded areas and shit like that. And people used to trap coon and deer and all, or not deer. Yeah, but I don't recommend eating a raccoon. Yeah, no, they're beaver not, and all that shit. They used to sell the pelts. It actually went down in prices, and no one does it anymore because it's not worth anything because of countries like China. Because they fucking, you know, like... Yeah, if they can catch it, it's dead. Yeah. They're eating it. Like, I remember years ago, China got caught, you know, skinning cats and selling it as, like, mink fur and shit like that. Like, I, I was surprised, too, that China had an animals rights activist group. I know, and you always hear the old jokes that Chinese food's cat. I don't give a fuck. It tastes good. Yeah, Garf- I'll take some General So's kitty. <laughs> yeah, Garfield <laughs> tastes fucking delicious. Yeah. <laughs> General So's kitty. I'm proud of that one. I'm patting myself on the back. Pretty and, good. And that reminds me, I, I guess a couple days ago, the guy that made the Big Mac died. Yeah, and the guy who uh, the guy who came up with a General Tso's chicken just died, yeah, too. That's, that's, <laughs> that's horrible. I know, man. That shit's delicious. We, we need a moment of silence for our fast food brethren. Mm-hmm. Where'd them tacos go? <laughs> <laughs> Cut my mouth some more. Oh, man. Yeah, fucking... Hey, Big Macs must not be that bad. We're watching it. He probably didn't even eat them. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. No, he's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> I don't even like Big Macs, man. Let me get that double quarter pounder with cheese, uh, That's though. what I get. I always get a double quarter pounder. Mm. Gotta get that... Well, I gotta, I gotta do the cheese. I don't know if you do. I do. Mr. Lactose No, when I go to McDonald's, it's to eat like shit. <laughs> and that's the thing. I keep seeing McDonald's like have these, you know, uh, fucking buttermilk bread with chicken and stuff. No. Yeah, we don't want your artisanal you know, breads. We don't want your fucking bullshit, hippie bullshit fucking. <laughs> when I want to eat like shit, I go to McDonald's. That's everybody whole... has it. Everybody has that moment. Yeah, that's the whole fucking point. When I hate my life like I do every minute <laughs> of my life. <laughs> Well, I want to go somewhere and lose all my self-respect yeah. for a little bit. Like, I don't eat ice cream. That's a woman thing. Do whatever. But I fucking, I'm going to go shove a bunch of fries out my fucking throat. Drink a bunch of, you know, Coke that's probably going to give me diabetes. <laughs> and I'm going to eat a shitty fucking sandwich. Hey, know? why not? Just to get all of my life. <laughs> why the fuck not? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't get it. McDonald's, just stop. Just stop, man. I don't Just like give me a greasy burger. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. <laughs> as far as fast food places, though, Five Guys got it going on. Oh, yeah. They're fucking good. Yeah, they are good. They're expensive, though. Yeah, they are. Like, I, I walked in, I remember, I was like, oh, I got to try Five Guys, you know. I haven't tried Five Guys since college. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> had to do some videos I wasn't proud of. <laughs> <laughs> and they are, it's like eight bucks for a hamburger. Yeah, but you know what? They're really good. Yeah, they are. They are pretty fucking good. I have to give them that. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, what, do you, what else you got for us? Um, it's nothing really that is a lot to talk about, but I just fucking thought this was weird. What's that? <laughs> I, I, you know, I always uh, browse on Reddit, other news stories, and stuff like that. And <laughs> I came across a website where you can watch people sleep. <laughs> I don't. Is that a euphemism for something? Or... <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's so fucking. Weird. Or is this legitimately you're sitting there watching people? You watch saw pe- and they live stream their sleep, and you fucking. Do they wa- get paid for this? I don't know. I have no clue. I don't see anything. Advertisements. Lovely. What the fuck? Just. I'll shut up, you cunt. <laughs> if you are a person who makes video advertisements, fuck you. Yeah. Well, here, here's the fucking video, or the website, and look, one's named Cookie Punk. 
And you just fuck. Yeah, because nothing's more punk rock than fucking chocolate chip. <laughs> yeah. Just, like, what the fuck? And look, they're just sitting there, and you can watch them sleep live stream it. And the funny thing is, is when you click on them, they come up. There's a chat room, and people are like, yay. Oh, shit, it's the girl from the ad. She's not sleeping, though. No. <laughs> okay. And and look, you can click video to capture a moment. Why I don't get, why would you want to capture a moment? This must be some kind of masturbation. Like, yeah, sexual thing. I I have no fucking clue. Okay, so co- this one's playing a guitar, but you're supposed to be sleeping. I know. Why why sleep? I have a you know a weird website. You're you you have one thing to do, and you can't even do it. Do you think it's about sex? It has to be. I think it's about it. It's got rule thirty four. There's fucking uh, does it say? There's seven people watching this girl. <laughs> well, at least this one's doing something. Yeah. What about I, the rest of them are legitimately in bed right now? Yeah, like, look at this guy. He looks like a fucking Eskimo. <laughs> just, I don't Dude, it could be just a static picture. No one knows the fucking difference. I know. That's what I would do. I would just put a little picture up, like Wild, wild uh, Coyote it from, you know, where he painted the tunnels and shit. <laughs> and, people. and I just... Yeah, dude, I don't fucking get it. <laughs> I mean, it's either somebody beating off to it or they're making money or something. I can't fathom another reason for this. Yeah, it, dude, it has to dude, be. Dude, it's probably like creepy hotel owners and shit. Oh, yeah. Probably, oh, probably yeah. hidden cameras. Oh, yeah. I just uh, I just seen a movie the other... Oh, no, this was a while ago. And this it was about this guy that had a hotel, hmm. and he videotaped murders in his hotel room, and he sold the tapes for money because people like got oh, off good. on it. Yeah. I I'm I'm gonna look more into it, but I think that that's uh, like a porn thing, <laughs> and it has to be because why else would you want to sleep creep someone? <laughs> sleep creep. <laughs> oh man, that that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I just I didn't I don't have much to say about that. I just I thought I had to show that because I was like, what fucking that's fucking weird? What weird shit are we gonna fucking do next? I'm gonna do it sometime. I'm gonna like play like Battleship by myself and shit. While I'm trying. How do you play Battleship by yourself? I don't know. I don't know. How well, do you, you watch be. people sleep? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, you go to that website and click on their name. Like sleeping is so boring, and I, I just I just love the thing where it's like click the video to capture a moment. Like they're family members, and you want to like. Can you picture someone probably has like one of those big picture frames with all the little <laughs> bit of, and it's like all these people sleep, and, it, and they're like. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I don't know, but that's a guy who probably uh, probably paints murals with his own feces on the oh, wall man. and shit. That's so fucking weird, man. I just I don't know, <laughs> dude. Whatever. Be like Ooh. Jerry from Voices. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that fucking movie. It is a good movie. Oh, it's so good. If you haven't seen that, watch Jerry. Jerry. Uh, uh, Jerry. I keep going to his name. Watch Voices. It's got Ryan Reynolds in it. Yes. It's very fucking good movie. And I, I've never heard a lot about it. I don't know why it didn't go. Yeah, it's kind of a cult movie. It didn't nah. get much recognition. It, it, you got to be like the right kind of person for it. Because it was a shitty movie. But it was a good shitty movie. Oh, I thought it was fucking amazing, dude. Hey, hey whoever directed that is on point. Uh, they some, know what the Some fuck. lady. I can't think of her name. Oh, that was a girl that did that? Yeah. Oh, damn. I'm pretty I, sure. I thought that had man written all over it. Nah. Damn. Pink bathtub. Ah, uh, yeah. Uniforms. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because it had like this Dr. Seuss feeling, but it was fucked. Well, it's because of all the meds he was on, you know, it like made them all freaking spacey and shit. Yeah, it, it was awesome. I love that movie. Yeah. If, if you've never voice- seen it, uh, Ryan Reynolds plays a guy named Jerry, and he, uh, he lives alone with his uh, dog and cat, and he's got mental, serious mental issues. Yeah. And he, uh, when he's on medication, um, he can see the world for what it really is. But when he's off of it, everything's like Dr. Seuss, colorful, bright. No, when he's happy. on it, right? No, when he's off of it. When his mental illness is taking over, he's all happy and crazy. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. No, no, no. I thought when he took drugs, everything was happy and stuff. And then when he wasn't, everything was No, no. When he when he stopped taking the drugs is when it when it when he realized reality. See, when he was in his delusions, everything was beautiful and wonderful, and his animals would talk to him. Yeah, that's the best. That's the best. You know, like he's got a dog that's basically his conscience, and he's got uh, a cat, and the cat's basically his his little devil on his shoulder. Yeah, and the cat's like a Scottish accent. He's like, "Fucking kill him!" You know, you fucking want to like just fucking. You know, Ryan Reynolds did the voices for both of those. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He uh, he they weren't originally going to do it. They were going to cast other actors to do it, and he said, "Let me try." Yeah. So he did. Yeah, I I love Ryan Reynolds though. He got so typecast, but he's a great 
Great character. It was called The Voices, right? The Voices? I think it's just Voices. Oh, I found it here. Maybe it is The Voices. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll sh- show you right here. That's a that's a picture of him. Like, he's just insane, and there's his cat. Yeah, look <laughs> how nice the apartment is right now. He This is when he's off his meds. He, he thinks everything's wonderful. See if you can pull up a picture quick of him with uh, when he's on his meds. When he's on his meds. Yeah, just Google it real quick. Uh, uh, this is it, isn't uh, it? No, I think that's uh, when he's still doing good. I don't think there is. That'd be hard to find, actually. I well, love that fucking cat. He is fucking hilarious. <laughs> well, anyway, when he's... Uh... Oh, here, show the head. That'll, that'll, that'll be a good one. This one? Yeah. Like, uh, when... When he's off his medication, like this head and shit is still alive and talks to him. Mm-hmm. But when he's off of it, uh, you know, that's that's a reality right there. He keeps this, like, severed head in his fridge. Yeah, and, and he gets more severed heads or tries to because he feels like the heads are lonely. Because when he's off of them or whatever, they're, they're like, talking to him. And they're, like, hippie, 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 and, like, all this stuff. And I guess this is our thing uh, thing we love this week. Huh? Yeah. There we go. I, I think Good it's movie. a fucking very underrated movie. It is fucking amazing. Anyway, go, we're not going to give away any more of it. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It is it is worth watching. Yeah, it is. If you're not, it's kind of more of a black comedy, but mm-hmm. it's not really a horror movie. No, it's not. It's violent, but it's it's just, like, I don't know. It's a really good movie. That one bitch from, like, Pitch Perfect's in it. What's her name? Oh, yeah, the... Little the, cute one. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can't think of her name off the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, Kendrick, something Kendrick. Yeah, 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 yeah. They Anna, wanted her to play... Kendrick? Maybe, yeah. She's in it. Yeah, she she's one of the characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you got any more stories? No, that's that's it for me. All right, I got one more, but you're going to have to pull up pictures for it. Oh. I mean, we're having laptop problems here, so uh, Casey's pretty much running the show with the pictures. Oh, man, you're giving me responsibilities. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my laptop is currently running off of an SD card. That's the entire hard drive at the moment. Yeah, my fucking laptop. The goddamn fucking ugh, fucking camera. Yeah, the three camera thing's fun and all, but we got sick of the laggy video and yeah. shit. So, um, we'll probably revisit that in the future when we get a get more equipment, better equipment. Yeah, we're still learning. <laughs> yeah, we're still learning. Anyway, so check this bitch out. She a desperate teen- teenager reveals she's selling her virginity for eight hundred and fifty thousand euros to buy home for her parents before they get evicted. She claims her parents have no idea. Why does she look so evil? She does look angry, doesn't she? Oh my god! I just fucking lost it. Internet, I hate you. <laughs> it's this so stupid websites, man. Where where if you click even remotely off of the center, I didn't even fucking click. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, look at her though. She looks so angry. Oh my but, uh, god, she's sucking my soul out, man. You know, she's some Eastern European chick, and I, you know, she looks very Eastern European. Yeah, she she's eighteen years old. She's trying to uh, find a house for her parents, and that's that's to be commended. But you know what? Uh, prostituting yourself might not be the best idea. She must really fucking love her parents, man. Or like, she's just a whore. In fact, yeah, I scrolled down a little bit. I think we have some uh, photographic evidence to lean towards the latter. Oh, yeah, she's slotting it up. Uh, but, yeah. but she made it to 18 to be a virgin? Supposedly. That's awesome. <laughs> look, look at this one where she's sucking on her fucking fingers. Yeah, you're not uh, a whore. Oh, man. Well, you know, she's got to sell the product, man. Do they have a picture of her parents or anything? Oh, there's more. No, her parents have no idea, supposedly. How do you hide this from your fucking parents? Why is she... She just has resting bitch face. Oh, my God. Yeah, she does look angry. And that's the thing. Like, if she's a virgin, like, she's, like... She's not going to know what she's doing. <laughs> like... Yeah, she's so mean looking, man. Yeah, so she got her idea from <laughs> from Indecent ex- indecent Proposal. Remember that terrible movie? <sighs> God, Robert movie. Redford and Demi, <laughs> Demi fucking, Moore. That fucking movie. Yeah, so so this is where she got the idea from. She goes, I was 15, I saw a movie on TV. It was about a girl who sold herself for one night. Maybe I could do this with my virginity. I saw many girls who sold themselves for $3.5 or more. She told presenters. And she said uh, she needs money to buy her parents a house and wants to study at Oxford, and you know, because she's real smart. And I'll, I'll show you how smart she is. Uh, she went to the doctor to prove that she was a virgin still. Uh-huh. Uh, but when she was asked about uh, the, the, you know, what what are you going to do to ensure that the winning bidder is is healthy? 
She hadn't thought about it. She literally says, I haven't thought about that. She hesitated before adding, probably I will test him too. I didn't think about it. How would I guess you not, sex ed isn't popular. Why there. would you not think of that? Because she's too worried about saving her parents, man. So I like her. I think she's a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> she's got chutzpah. Oh, but uh, the, the, the presenter of the TV show she was on says, I got to say, I'm a father. I have to say, you, you now, are you out of your mind? You haven't thought about the health aspects or the safety aspects? What are you thinking? But uh, <sighs> I just, Whatever, man. Well, listen like to this. Her. This is this is her. This is her logic here. They said that you know they're very bad people out there. Her response to that is, uh, someone with that kind of money will be a good man and won't have problems. Because oh we know all God. rich people are. I think very that's the first time people. I ever face palmed really in my life. <laughs> like, I think you do it on this show at least once a week. I'll do it <laughs> probably. I, dude, are you fucking kidding me? Rich people are the most fucked up people in the world. That's why our country sucks. <laughs> like rich people suck. They're so so removed from regular people. Whatever. Where, where's the Matt thing? Where's where's the Matt set? Dude, Matt straight up. Sucks. <laughs> yeah, rich people straight up suck, dude. <laughs> like they. I'm are, sure there's rich people named Matt. <laughs> like that is just fucking that. That's a dream world. I'm sorry that people think that because she's probably dead serious. Well, she's obviously not very bright. Oh, I mean, she gets this fucking plan from 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 a decent proposal, you know, at the, an awful movie with Demi Moore, you know. Oh man, that's ridiculous. It's like, not a very smart idea, you know. I know, but like the thing, like I'm just, I'm, dude, that's sad that she thinks just because you have money, you're not a piece of shit. <laughs> like what? I mean, I admire the the the, the chicks <sighs> wanting to help her parents out. I admire that, but you know, that is not the way to do it. No. Maybe uh, she's just out of options. She looks like she has... Like, where's she getting all these clothes? She has a phone. Like, I don't... I have no idea. Like, I have no... I like. I just don't know. Like, it looks like she's doing well. What? what how? Why is her family doing so bad? She can afford to get a manicure and an iPhone. She has no boobs, though. I know. There's, like, nothing there. Nah. It's because it's fucking... Oh, man. She looks so angry. <laughs> she's so angry. she's got that fuck you face yeah and I've, I'm pretty sure she's wearing a pentagram <laughs> like, she does kind of have a little pentagram thing uh, yeah she just looks so fucking mad man yeah I, I don't know I mean I have nothing against the legalized prostitution uh, I don't even understand why it's illegal if you want to sell your fucking cooter hole buy it by all yeah, means who I am know. I to tell you you can't do it I know what it's and that's the thing, like when it comes to sex, just fucking it's none of your fucking business. Yeah, well, it spreads diseases and shit. Everything spreads diseases these days. Well, you know, <laughs> like sex workers in Las Vegas and shit, they have to get checked and yeah. regulated, like any other business. Then you know what's wrong with that? I don't see the fucking problem. I don't know, and that's the thing. Like you know, if you're afraid of getting caught for prostitution, put fake cameras up. Say it's a porno. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's ways around it. Yeah, because, you know, it's it's only prostitution if there's no cameras. Yeah, like Family Guy made fun of that once. They were like, they break in, they're like trying to arrest these people. Like, he was like, sorry, sir, we have a camera app. Oh, I didn't see that. You have a good day. And they just leave. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> it's art, I guess. I don't fucking know. Whatever. I, I don't know. Just let, let men be happy. Let people be happy. Let them fuck people's brains out. If they want to pay for it, they, they let them pay for it. It's not your fucking business. Yeah, really. You know, it's one of the best ways for a, a woman to uh, completely be financially independent on their own terms, man. Yeah. Anybody can do it, <laughs> you know. Wow. When with uh, escort websites and shit nowadays, people don't even have to, like, do, do anything. They don't even have to, like, go out and worry about standing on a street corner and shit. I know. Like, people all... come to you. Yeah. Yeah. Back then, you had to work for it. Now it's just like, oh, you know. I mean, we have to get on the fucking internet and try to entertain people for an hour every week. <laughs> yeah. It's like, let me check my phone. Do I have anyone that want to beat up my cooter hole today? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two. You know, then they probably make their schedule around it. I mean, they get to just fuck all day and uh, and get paid for it. Yeah. We have to try to jump through hoops like fucking trained monkeys. <laughs> and that's probably funny. Like these younger hookers are probably talking to these older hookers, and these older hookers are all mad. They're like, you you have it so easy these days. You have it. <laughs> you, you don't know how good you got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, Martha. <laughs> I bet you there is. <laughs> there's there's Uber cab fights these days, so who knows? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fucking Uber. And I, I, I flew out to California like that, and they're actually, the one airport I flew, I think it was John Wayne, 
uh, they they weren't allowed to have Ubers there because taxi the taxi people were just yeah, so pissed. The, well, the taxi situation it, it is kind of a complicated situation. Uber just straight in like straight up jumped in and started basically yeah. being a taxi cab without going through the taxi cab regulations. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have like. Uh, what do they call them? I think coins. They're not an actual coin, but you only get so many or tokens. That's right. There's a cab oh, token. Cheeses? Yeah. <laughs> There's cab tokens that are handed out, and they only hand out so many of them. Mm-hmm. And it's how they regulate shit. Like New York City had a big problem with them for a while too. I guess Uber kind of won that battle, but yeah, I I don't know. We don't have them out here, so yeah, uh, yeah. It's actually I think we just got them. We got Ubers. Your mother told me. Oh yeah. I think. It's it's I have no idea I haven't seen shit we live so far out. if they did they would be in Williamsport yeah they'd be in town they yeah. certainly wouldn't be they shouldn't certainly wouldn't be out here where uh, you know snow plows come occasionally yeah and and that's the thing if I had the money I would start one out here but I'd call it like redneck beer coaster or something <laughs> well uh, actually being an uber isn't that hard you fucking download the app you register with them and they send you rides i know and you can you use work your when car. you want to like yeah. say I, I just hit a button i'm like oh i'm working and i'm like yeah, i'm done for today boop yeah it's pretty cool it's a good way i mean some people drive for uber and lyft and all those places i think uber and lyft time. i'm pretty sure that they're combined now no they, they compete Really? Because uh, yeah. when I was out in California, they like some had a Lyft and Uber stickers. Yeah, that's because they're working for both at the same Those time. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers. No, it's because they're working for both at the exact same time. Is what it is. It's the drivers working for both. Being a Benedict Arnold. Well, it's not like you get paid by like the hour. Mm-hmm. You get paid by the trip. So yeah, you know if if Uber doesn't have anybody for you right now, maybe Lyft does. Yeah. I think it's great. I fucking love it. Like, I never used it until I went out to California, and it is awesome. They're there in, like, seconds sometimes. I, I've been through California before, but I've never, like, spent any length of time there. When you were a truck driver. Oh, yeah, when I was a, dri- a truck driver, I had to keep my truck parked in a fucking convenience store parking lot for a 36-hour reset because I ran out of hours, but I've never, really, like, really spent any time Wait, there. Wait, what? You ran out of hours? Yeah, you only get so many hours in a week. To get, to work? Yes. Or to get it there. To work. You, uh... And if... It, I wait. forget how the rules go oh, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. So what if... What happens? You run out of hours. You get 10 and hours... And then what do you do? You have to park the truck for 36 hours. What? You, you, uh... You that get, is the most fucking Jewish shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like... <laughs> what does Jewish have to do with this? <laughs> you know. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> but is that just to say... Goodbye, <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I kind of do if we get kicked no, off dude, iTunes. It's no. all of our podcasts. Dude, dude everyone, everyone says Jew. <laughs> Hitler said it six million times. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, so was this just... Casey's <laughs> opinions do not necessarily reflect that of openly hostile opinions and no-ho networks. <laughs> <laughs> so is was this a way to save money? No, no, it has nothing to do with anything. Because any of did that. you get overtime? It's for safety. It's not the companies don't want you doing it. I know, but it just sounds like like we can't pay them any more than no, 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 no. So no. That's gonna... not that's not a company policy. It's it's the rules of the road. It's it's law. You only get you. I think it is. It's been years, but I, I believe you get ten hours to drive. You get fourteen hours to do it in. Yeah, and uh, you can only drive so many hours within a certain amount of time span i forget because it's been so long but if you've driven all your hours then you have to park the truck for 36 to to have a reset that's so fucking weird or 34 hours 34 hours so you had to just fucking stay at a convenience store in a parking lot for fucking 36 hours 34 hours oh my god you fucking must have went crazy yeah well no did you do (laughs) like you can only i had shit in my truck like, you can only go in and out of the convenience store. Like, did you go for walks? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's what it is. You get um, you get 60 hours. 60 hours to drive. In, in how long a week, right? Uh, 10 days, maybe. That's so weird. I'd never heard of anything like that. And this, and this is when you work for Swift or whatever like that? Yeah, I work for Swift. Um, the rules have changed apparently. Oh, really? But anyway, the, the the point being is, if you run out of hours, you can park your truck for thirty thirty four hours, and then you get more hours. Oh, okay. It's it's the 
you don't have to do the 34 hour reset you can mm-hmm. make sure you limit your amount of time yeah uh so that you never run out of hours but you get like i said 10 hours a day 14 hours to do it in and you only get 60 hours in a week i guess that's fucking weird yeah that's what it is i think it's 60 hours in a seven day period oh my god i would so go if you would nuts. drive if you would drive your full 10 hours a day for six days straight then you're done you're out of hours for the week and this was back then probably when they didn't have smartphones no i didn't know it. well they oh might have no they didn't the iphone wasn't out at that point i yet. would go fucking nuts <laughs> yeah i had things to do i had I would have just went in that convenience store, bought a bunch of sleeping pills, chugged a bottle of NyQuil, and be like, see you later. (laughs) I get bored too easy. That's like if I ever went to jail, I wouldn't survive. (laughs) Of boredom. I'd be fucking bored like all the fucking time. Well, whatever. It's it's what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. All right, well, I think that's going to be all the time we have for this week. Yes. Let me, let me take a minute to shill all our bullshit that we have to shill. <laughs> um, if you're not watching us on YouTube, you should really subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, just search for us, Openly Hostile Opinions, on YouTube. Um, we do other stuff besides just this podcast on there. Uh, we just did a video that Casey did that was hilarious. He took one of our stories and animated it in MS Paint. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that, it's fucking funny. Go watch that. Uh, we'll be doing some other stuff down the road, cutting a few bites out here and there of the shows so that you guys can have something a little bit more easily digestible to watch. Because you know, we know it's hard to sit here through an hour show every week. Yeah, so we're, we're going to try a little bit more stuff like the MS Paint thing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do that in yeah. my spare time. We're also going to do a thing called Hostile Bits. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be bits of each show, stuff we liked, stuff you know that we thought was enjoyable. So you can just watch a quick, you know, clip instead of you know sitting through an hour. But there's people that like the hour thing, but there's also people that want some quick stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna do stuff like that. We're gonna make that happen for yeah. you. We're gonna do a few other things down the road. Maybe play some video games or some mm-hmm. shit like that and uh, televise it. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So subscribe to YouTube. Um, make sure if you're uh, listening on iTunes, give us a review. Uh, those help us out big time. Hit that like button. Share to your friends. Uh, we noticed a few uh, new people on the subscriber list this week. So hi yep. everybody. Hello. Thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for letting us entertain you for the last hour and uh, share with your friends if you like what you see. And uh, I guess that's about it. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions podcast. <laughs>